Hello, welcome back to some 1969 at by action. Today we have the Cincinnati Reds in Atlanta to take on the Braves. It's Saturday, April the 12th, 1969. We have a day game uh, here at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. The Reds come in uh, at two and one. They swept the Dodgers at home in two games and then lost four to one to the Braves last night in Friday night action. The uh, Braves lost two of three to the Giants at, here at home and then, of course, won that game last night, so they come in at 2-2. Two and two. On the mound for the Braves will be Pat Jarvis. Uh, he got uh, beat up pretty good in his first start. He is 0-1 with a 12-27. Uh, that was against the Giants, so he is hoping for better things here against the Cincinnati Reds. And that will get us set up and ready to roll. Leading off for Cincinnati will be Pete Rose, hometown boy. Uh, he won the batting title in 68 and would go on to win it this year as well. As you can see, however, he's off to kind of a slow start, hitting 222. Switch hitter versus right-handed pitching. He's at a zero. Uh, Jarvis is a C as in cat. He does have the L, so that means he'll give up more than his share of home runs. His master grade is six. So he'll be a six and a C as in cat. And here we go. Twelve's a 25. Uh, he doesn't have any strikeout modifiers, so that's grounded to Milan at second base. And he will play it on a couple hops, fire on to Orlando Cepeda. And we have this game underway. Up next for the Reds is Bobby Tolan, right fielder extraordinaire. Left-handed hitter. He's hitting 182 with an RBI so far. Versus righties, he's minus three. Being a lefty, he prefers lefty, odd, odd, lefties, oddly enough. So that will make a nine still a C out of Jarvis, not enough. Uh, six is a very low C, so it takes a bit to get him into that B range, but he will still be a C, and here's the pitch. 31 is in eight, and on a C, uh, that's going to be lined into left center field over the head of Sonny Jackson. Gar will cut it off in the gap and fire it back in as Nolan has great speed. Nolan makes the turn, and Bluff's going to second, but will return back to first with the single. He has fast speed. Again, green is fast. Red is slow. Yellow is normal. That brings Alex Johnson to the plate. Uh, his second year with Cincinnati. Uh, very good hitter, but wasn't able to stay anywhere very long uh, for different reasons. He moved around quite a bit. I think he won the batting, American League batting title next year, I believe, when he goes to California, I think. Versus righties, he's a minus four. That'll make a 10, still a C out of Jarvis. Uh, as you can see, uh, Johnson's hitting 167, so top of the Reds order, not doing that great so far. 13 is a 14. Uh, he doesn't have the modifier, so that's going to be a walk. As you can see, Johnson didn't walk a lot, only 25, but he gets his first of the year here. And we have him on first and second. Uh, he, too, is fast. Nice speed on the top of the Cincinnati lineup. That brings up Tony Perez, who is not fast. So we got on first and second. Tony Perez is hitting 167. One RBI so far versus right-handed pitching. He's a minus two, which will keep Jarvis at an eight, which is a C. So we've got first and second, one out. Atlanta looking for the double play here, and Tony Perez is certainly a candidate for that. 42 is a 39. The Braves are a very good one. So a 39, and that's going to be a fly ball out to center field. Um, Philippe Alou out there. <laughs> I had to remember which Alou brother was in center field, but it's Philippe. Uh, out there, so we got a 39, and let's see, Tolan is going to try to tag up as it's hit deep, 
Uh, if he is fast, he will be safe. If not, he is thrown out. And he is indeed fast. So here is the throw to third, and Tolan just barely slides in. That call could have gone in either way, but the umpire uh, gives it to Tolan. So he almost, almost made the third out at third. Came as close to it as you can without doing it. So he goes to third, the center fielder. That puts him on the corner and two outs. Fly out to center field, out number two. So that was an interesting play. Uh, Johnson held up at first. So, runners at the corners. Two out for Lee May, who is off to a pretty good start. One of the few red hitters that, that is. He is uh, 333, two doubles, two home runs, just two RBI versus right handers. He's a minus three. That'll make a 9C out of Jarvis. Of course, the Braves back with two outs here. 21, and he strikes out. Nice fastball by Jarvis. May swings through it with a mighty swing. It comes up empty, and that'll do it for the Reds. So they threaten. Get a couple hits. But they are not able to get them across the plate. We've played half an inning. Reds nothing. Braves coming to bat. Leading off for Atlanta will be Philippe Alou, who just about made that nice play, throwing out Tolan at first. Uh, he's hitting 235 with an RBI and a double. Nolan is a on the mound for the Reds today, is a C as in cat with a Y strikeout modifier. He has a nine master grade, which is uh, a higher uh, C, so he probably will be spending some time in the B as in boy range. Uh, he threw a uh, shutout, five-hit shutout against the Dodgers at Crosley Field on opening day. Uh, so he his season's off to a good start. Versus right-handed pitching, Nolan has a minus three. So as I had just stated, that'll make a 12B as in boy out of Nolan for this at bat. And here we go. Oh. One of these days I'm going to get that before we start. <laughs> All right, a 56 is a 34. The Reds' defense is a 2, and uh, he is a Y, so that's a strikeout. So he starts the game out with a bang as he whiffs, no, or, uh, whiffs uh, Alou with a nice curveball there. One away for Felix, uh, Felix Milan. He's hitting 313 with an RBI. He's a minus one, so that'll make a 10. Uh, still a C out of Nolan for this one. Atlanta shortstop, right-handed hitter versus the right-handed pitching Nolan. 65 is a 35, and that's hit the other way down to Lee May and uh, hit pretty hard, so he'll have time to take it himself for out number one. That would be out number two, rather. Hank Aaron's off to a good start, at least power-wise. He's hitting 235. He's got a couple bombs already. I believe he had one in yesterday's affair versus righties. He's a minus two, so that'll make an 11B as in boy out of Nolan. Two out, nobody on here in the Atlanta first. 46 is a 27, and that's hit down to the third baseman Perez. Not a great fielder. However, he will make this play and uh, fire on to Lee May to retire the side. So the Braves go in order. We've played one, no score. All right, do up for the Reds is Johnny Bench. Picture of him, he looks like a baby. <laughs> I think I think he was a rookie in '67, and uh, it, the the story behind the Topps baseball cards in 1969 is a very interesting one. It was one of their 
uh, least impressive outings. They were using old pictures, had a hard time getting some logos uh, with the expansion, uh, especially. I know the Astros were giving them some trouble where they couldn't show their logo. So I think this is actually Bench's, uh, this picture was from 67. Uh, so he didn't look quite that baby-faced in 69. But uh, as you can see, he had a pretty good year. I think 70 is when he really became Johnny Bench, but he had a good year in 69. Uh, he's hitting 400. Uh, no extra base hits yet. Versus righties, he's a minus two. That's an eight. C is in cat for Jarvis, and here we go. 53, and that's a 19. That's going to be a third baseman check, and I think that's pretty much an error across the board unless there's two outs. Uh, Boyer is indeed a very good uh, third baseman, but he will make the error on this play, and the Reds get the first runner on in the second. Boyer uh, from New York, the U New York Link Yankee Clubs. Again, a fine defender. He's a six, which is uh, as good as you can get in the Atba universe, but again, still booted that one. Bench hit it hard. Boyer made a fine effort, but come up empty. So Bench is an average runner, so he's on first. We got Tommy Helms. Uh, he's hitting a, a, a hundred with an RBI so far versus right-handers minus one. That'll be a seven C. He has the three, th the third 31. So bench, again, is average speed. So let's go ahead and try the hit and run. Again, I keep it to no more than three per team, and very rarely do I get that far. But 45 is a 14 on the hit and run. Uh, strike, runner out stealing on a 14. Seems, that don't seem right. Uh, if the runner has an 11 in the first column, he steals safely. And I don't think Bench does. Nope. No 11. He has a 10. But no 11. So, let's double check that. 45 is a 14. Hit and run with a runner on first. And so, Helms comes up empty. And Didier nails Bench at second for the caught stealing. Two to four as Milan makes the tag. The lack of execution gives the Reds their first out. So. Tommy Helms will now be hitting with nobody on. And one out. Again, uh, Jarvis is a C as in cat. 63, 31, that's lofted out to Alou in center field. And he will drift a little to his right and catch it with two hands as they did in those days for out number one. That would be out number two. All right, Woody Woodward is hitting 111 with an RBI. Eighth hitter in the lineup versus right-handed pitching is a minus three. And that's a nine, not enough to get Jarvis out of the C range. Here's the pitch, two out, nobody on. 25 is an eight and a C. That's going to be slapped into left center field. It'll drop between Gar and Alu. Gar will field it and throw it back in. And Woody Woodward has a two-out base hit. So that's good, at least get the pitcher through the lineup. Of course, Gary Nolan's not a bad hitter, as you can see there. 229, had a couple triples, three doubles, walked a couple times, so he wasn't horrible for a pitcher. Woody Woodward is of average running ability here at first base. Two down. Gary Nolan versus right-handed pitching, so minus two. That's an 8C for Jarvis. And here's the pitch. Two out, runner on first. 12's a 25, and that's going to be hit down to Milan. Uh, he will go on to Cepeda, and that will do it for the Reds in the second. Four to three. No runs, a hit, one error, one runner left. We've played one and a half, still no score. 
Four, five, and six due up for Atlanta here in the home half of the first. <clears throat> Leading off will be Orlando Cepeda, a former Giant and Cardinal. I think this is his first year with the Braves. Uh, I think he was with St. Louis last year. And of course, St. Louis are the reigning National League champions in 1969. It's the first year they divvy up into uh, divisions. So baseball as I knew it growing up. Versus right-handers, he's a plus two, so that'll be a seven, which is still a C for Nolan. Again, as he is a high C in his master grade. And here's the pitch. 13, and he's going to draw a walk. So second walk of the year for Cepeda. He didn't walk a ton for a, a big power hitter, but he got, got his share. It's one here in the bottom of the second. Okay, he is average speed. So he'll be on first base here. That brings Cleet Boyer to the plate. Versus right-handers, minus three. So that'll improve Nolan to a 12C, or a 12B rather, as in boy. Nobody out. And here's the pitch to Boyer. 13 is a 14. Uh, he does not have the Z modifier, so he walks his second runner in a row. Again, Nolan coming off that shutout against the Dodgers on opening day. Would obviously like to duplicate that here in Atlanta. Got him on first and second. However, he's in a bit of a pickle here early on. So Cepeda with average speeds on second. Boyer, who has slow speed, is on first. Ralph Gar will take his place in the left-handed batter's box. According to Strat, he's not that great of a bunner, but this wouldn't be a bad, bad time to bunt. Get a couple in scoring position for Didier and Sonny Jackson. He's going to give it a whirl and see what he can do. So... Lum Harris is putting on the butt sign. Here's the pitch. 56 is a 34. Uh, and that's going to be bunted out in front of the plate. Uh, Nolan pounces on it. Nice reflexes off the mound. And he is going to go to third base with it. And they're able to get Cepeda at third. <clears throat> so Gar fails to deliver as he hits into a fielder's choice. Fielder's choice, he goes, he's out. That was pitcher to third baseman. So now they've got him on still on first and second with one out. So this in the scorebook here, two to five. Out number one, Boyer goes to second. Bar now on with a fielder's choice trying to bunt. So he goes to second, he's slow. Gar, the rookie. Uh, or at least close to a rookie, uh, is fast. So first and second, two out. So that stratagem did not pay off. And that brings Didier to the plate. Atlanta catcher hitting 222 for the year versus right-handers. He's a minus two, so that'll make an 11B as in boy out of Nolan. The Reds back at double play depth, of course. 44 is an 8 on a B, and that's going to be a slow grounder down the third baseline. Prez will charge and only have one throw and uh, be able to get the slow Didier by a step. Anybody else might have beat that out. Again, Prez not a great fielder. And hang on a second here. So Didier grounded out, I said. Thought I entered this right. Let's try it again. There we go. All right, so Boyer to third. Guard to second. Did he retired five to three for out number two? Sonny Jackson is due up next. Uh, let's see. So you got to, might be an opportunity to intentionally walk. In. I always feel better about 
walking the bases loaded when they have the Z modifier where they don't have that Z. You're always afraid of walking in that um, that uh, you know that run. I think they're going to go ahead and tackle Jackson here versus right-handers. He's a minus one. That'll be a C as in cat for Nolan on this at bat. Runners on second and third, two out. As you can see, Sandy Jackson's hitting a buck 43 here in the early going of 1969. 13 and 14, and there you have it. <laughs> so he walks him unintentionally, intentionally. So now we have the bases loaded for the pitcher. Three walks have loaded the bases. No one a bit wild here to start our Saturday afternoon game. Jackson is fast, so we've got pretty good speed on the bases. With two outs, they're going to play business as usual here. They're not going to play it safe with Boyer over at third. So Pat Jarvis versus right-handers is a minus three. That will improve Nolan to a B as in boy. The base is jammed. As you can see, Jarvis hit 113 in the real-life campaign. Big, big pitch here early in the game. 13, and he strikes out. So that's a that's a walk spot. But uh, Jarvis didn't walk much, but overpowered with the fastball there, and uh, that will retire the side as Nolan's able to dodge that early game bullet. So no runs, no hits, no errors. However, three walks left the bases loaded. We've played two here in Atlanta. No score. Got the top of the order due up for Cincinnati in the third. Charlie Hustle, Pete Rose. He grounded out to second base to start the festivities here this afternoon. Versus righties, he's a zero, so that'll keep a 6C as in cat for Jarvis. Here's pitch, 56, and he draws a walk. So Pete with his third walk of the season, or fourth walk, rather. The lead off here. The Reds get the first runner on here in the third. It's fast. And brings Bobby Tolan up. Bobby singled, got as far as third base in the first, but was left stranded there. The Braves have the corners in, expecting a possible bunt, but I think Dave Bristol is going to let Tolan hit away as Tolan is a, a good hitter. Get to our runner on first chart, and here's the pitch. 46, and he strikes out. So Jarvis with a big sweeping curve. Nolan didn't think that one was going to break in far enough, and it did broke nicely right over the plate. For out number one. It's the third time that Nolan's whiffed. He struck out 92 times total. So one out. It's up to Alex Johnson. Uh, he's minus four. Again, that's a 10. Still a C for Jarvis. Johnson walked his first walk of the year. His first at bat. 46, and he strikes out. Another good curveball there. Johnson was bailing just a bit, and it broke back over the inside corner. First strikeout, the third strikeout today, the second in a row. As Jarvis has got the curve working this afternoon. So Tony Perez, he flew out to Alou in the first. Versus righties is a minus two. That'll be an eight C as in cat. A lot of power in this Reds lineup. Perez looking for his first bomb of the season. 34, and that's hit high and hit deep into center field. However, just a couple of steps from the wall, Alou will, will catch it to end the inning. That'll do it for the Reds. They leave our runner, no, no runs. They've left four on here in three innings. We go to the Atlanta half of the third, still nodded at nothing. Top of the order for Atlanta here in the third to face Mr. Gary Nolan. 
Uh, Alou fares better against lefty, so that will improve Nolan to a uh, 12 B as in boy. He struck out in his first at bat. Alou did. 53 is a 16. That's a center fielder check. Pete Rose is a 2 according to the app. The Appa Geniuses, and that's going to drop for a single. So Atlanta gets their first base hit of, of the day. Leadoff hit here in the third. Alou is fast, so he's on first. That brings Felix, uh, Felix Milan to the plate. Right-handed hitter versus right-hander. The Reds have the corners in, expecting a bunt. Not sure if Mike Lum, he tried that. He tried the bunt last inning, and that didn't fare very well. Milan does have the 331, so let's go ahead and try the hit and run. The Reds tried that, and that didn't work, but let's see if uh, it, the Braves can pull it off. 61 is a 24, and that would have been a double play, so the, uh, uh, Milan hits it to second base. And with a Lou going on the pitch, Helms will only be able to go to first. So the hit and run kind of paid off. Avoided a double play at least. So he's out. He goes four to three. So that'll advance Alou. That's uh, in effect the sacrifice bunt. Four to three, one out. That was a hit and run. The first one the Braves have executed. So, Alou on second. Hank Aaron to the plate. Hammer and Hank from Mobile, Alabama. Versus right-handers is a minus two. That'll make an 11B as in boy out of Nolan. Uh, Hank Aaron hit one to Perez to end the first. 54, and that slapped the other way out to Nolan. Nolan is a two and uh, hit deep enough. Alou with good speed is going to make it to third. So fly out to right field. Alou will make it to third. So two out. One on at third base in scoring position. Orlando Cepeda. Versus right-handers, he's a min or a plus two, so he prefers righties. So that'll keep Nolan at a C as in cat. Cepeda walk to lead off the second, so two out, runner on third. Here's the pitch to Nolan to a dangerous hitting Orlando Cepeda. 56, and he strikes him out. So Nolan, who had good heat as a younger man, blows that one by Cepeda. Perhaps he was expecting something different. He was a little tardy on the on the delivery, but he is struck out nonetheless. So the Braves get their first base hit, but leave him stranded at third. After three, still no score. All right, Lee May leads off the festivities here in the Reds' fourth. Lee May was a very impressive player. I uh, had heard about him, but I didn't realize how good he was, and he had some pretty nice years, this being one of them, as you can see there, 32 doubles, 38 home runs, 110 RBIs. He did strike out a bit, but a 278 average. Uh, but he struck out to end the first, and he'll be the first batter Jarvis will face here in the fourth. So minus three, that's a nine, so still a C for Jarvis. Here's the pitch to Lee May from Birmingham, Alabama. 23, and that's hit a mile high out to left field. He got under that one a bit. He'd have hit that one into the upper deck if he'd have hit it straight. As it is, Gar will wait for it to come down and catch it for out number one. Johnny Bench. He reached on an error and was caught stealing uh, in the second. A minus two on righty, so 8C is in cat still for Jarvis. Here's Johnny. He takes a crack at it. 35 is a nine on a C, and he pops it up on the infield. Uh, Boyer will step back onto the outfield grass, wave everybody off, and he will squeeze it for out number two.
Quickly two away for Tommy Helms. He's flew out to center field in his first at bat. Uh, Jarvis will be a C as a Zincat. 45, and he draws the walk. So Helms didn't walk much either, but he draws his second one of the year here. That is the third walk today by Jarvis. He doesn't have the Z uh, modifier or the W, so average when it comes to giving up free passes. Tommy Helms is fast, so two out. Runner on first for Woody Woodward. Minus three, that's a C as in cat still for Jarvis. Here is the pitch. 36, 14, and that's going to be another wall. We got runner on first. He'd have been a Z. That would have been two. But as it is, he is not. So two walks in a row. We'll get the pitcher through the lineup again. It's always a good thing to do. So Woodward has done that twice now. So being a good eighth place hitter. All right. Helms is fast. Woodward is average. First and second. Two out. Gary Nolan grounded out to second base in his first Effort of the afternoon versus right-hander. He's a minus two, eight, so still a C for Jarvis. Again, Nolan can hit a little bit. See if he can help himself out here. Uh, threw the dice away. That one didn't go off the table, at least. Try it again. 31 is a 23. They are a one. Uh, and with two outs, that's going to be a balk. Oh, hang on a second here. I'm on the wrong chart. Let's try it again. So again, 23, they are a one. Uh, as it is, it's foul, strike, catcher injured by the foul tip and is unable to play the next three games. So what I'm doing as played, I don't do the three games part, but I do take them out of the game uh, if they get injured and uh, then let the as played lineups pick up the next day. And so Didier gets hurt on that pitch, so we will have to find a replacement and we will be right back. Mike Lum brings on Tillman to take the place of the injured deer. Uh, Tillman has the same seven at catcher, so that will not affect the Braves' defense any. So no one has a strike. Still runners on first and second. Two out. And here is Jarvis with a new battery mate. See if he can get no one to end the inning. And I've missed the tower once again. I've been doing that a lot. You'd think after all this practice, I'd be better at that. There's fly ball out to left field. Gar will squeeze it to end the inning. So fly out to left, and that'll do it for the Reds in the fourth. No runs, no hits, no errors. They did leave two runners on from base on balls. We go to the Atlanta Braves half of the fourth. Still no score. All right, Cleet Boyer, third baseman extraordinaire, will lead off things here in the bottom of the fourth. He walked in his first at bat. He's a minus three, so that will improve Nolan to a B as in boy. Here's the pitch. 33, that's a seven. And uh, that's going to be slapped up the middle just out of the outstretched arm of Helms. Rolls will go over to the right center field gap and throw it back in. And Boyer is on with a leadoff single. Second hit today for the Braves. Boyer not fooled on that curveball as he waited on it and just slapped it right back up the middle pretty much. Uh, Boyer is slow, so he's on first. The Braves will play it safe with him. Ralph Gar, he tried to bunt. Uh, back in the second and came up short. Ended up uh, hitting to a fielder's choice as uh, Nolan went to third with it on the play. Versus right-handers, he's a zero, so that will keep Nolan at a C as in cat here. All right. Here's the pitch. Nobody out. One on. 53 is a 15. That's going to be a left fielder check. Alex Johnson, who was a good hitter, uh, but notoriously known not to be a great hitter. Uh, however, 
Uh, 15 with a runner on first is going to be hit by pitch. 53. You have to watch those hit by pitches. They pop up in weird spots. So anyway, Nolan um, inside fastball gets away from him. Nick Nick Scar on the right arm. The Braves get their first two runners on here in the fourth. This happened back in the second, and uh, Nolan was able to get out of it, hoping for similar success here as Boyer has singled and Gar has been plunked. Let's see. Boyer slow. Gar is fast. Bob Tillman, who's just newly into the game, replaced the injured Didier, who was hurt on that foul tip. Tillman's hitting uh, one for three with a home run already, so he's this 19, 20, or <laughs> 69 seasons off to a good start. Tillman is slow, as was Didier, right-handed hitter. Versus righties, he's a zero, so he actually does pretty good against right-handed pitching, all things considered. That will keep Nolan at a C as in cat. He does have a bit of pop in his bat, not great average. All right, so here's Tillman with his first at bat of the day. 54, and that's hit out to right field. Bobby Tolan pr patrols out there. And uh, Boyer, who's slow of foot, will not try to make it to second. So that'll be the first out of the inning, and Boyer stays at second base. Bobby Tolan with a decent arm, but it was probably more Boyer's lack of speed that kept him at second base. So one out, still two on for Sonny Jackson. Versus righty, he's a minus one. That's a 10, so still a C for Nolan. Jackson walked in his first at bat of the day. 16 to 28, that's the shortstop. Uh, Woodward is an eight, which is good for second column. Uh, so that's going to be hit uh, to Woodward, kind of up the middle. Uh, not hit terribly hard. He's going to go for the double play. Gives it to Helms uh, as he avoids guards sliding in. He throws over to May and not in time to get Jackson. So that'll be a 6-4 fielder's choice. Boyer makes it to third. Jackson is fast, so he's at first. Out six to four. Fielder's choice for Jackson. So they got him on the corners. Two out for the pitcher, Pat Jarvis. Pat Jarvis struck out in his first at bat. Uh, he's a minus three, so that will improve Nolan to a B as in boy. Here's the pitch. Two on, two out. 54, and that's a little rainbow out to right field. Nolan charging. Makes the play to end the inning. So nice job by Nolan getting out of another pickle. So no runs on one hit, no errors. They leave a couple on. Top of the fifth we go. Still knotted at nothing. Pete Rose will lead off an inning for the third time today. He is grounded out and walked so far. Uh, he will keep Jarvis at a C as in cat. Here we go. 23, and he strikes out. So strike, Rose will strike out some, and Jarvis gets him with a nice fastball. Out number one. That's the fourth strikeout today by Pat Jarvis. Bobby Tolan versus righties, minus three. That'll keep a C. Again, I think Jarvis is pretty much a C for everybody in the Reds lineup, if I remember correctly. 44, and that's a seven, and that's going to be hit on the screws. I think Aaron will play it on a hop, throw it back in, and the Reds have a base runner, their third hit of the day. Second hit by Jarvis or by uh, Tolan today. He's got two of the three Cincinnati hits. 
fast runner on first. Alex Johnson is 0 for 1 with a walk. And uh, he was a minus 4. Just barely uh, not enough to get to a B. So still a C for Jarvis. 46. And he strikes out once again. So once again, Johnson late on a fastball. Second strikeout of the inning. For Jarvis. And that brings Tony Perez to the plate. Dangerous hitter. So we'll keep uh, making eight C as in cat out of Jarvis. Got Tolan on first. Two out. Uh, Perez has hit uh, two flight out to center field twice. Second time pretty deep. 16 is a 28, and that's hit down to Jackson. He'll go the long way to get the slower Perez to end the inning. Reds have left at least one runner on every inning so far. So they're getting some opportunities, but neither team getting any clutch hitting here in this game. We have a pretty decent day for baseball here in Atlanta. This would be, uh, let's see, 66. This would be the fourth year of the Braves in Atlanta as they came down in 1966 from Milwaukee. All right, top of the order for the actually the third time of the game that Alou has let off an inning. He's one for two so far versus right-handers. It's a minus three. That's enough to improve Nolan to a B. He's been in the B range most of the day. 34, and that's a hit on the, a line, but right at Pete Rose in center field. So that one got to Pete in a hurry. He was in the right place and catches it for out number one. Felix Milan. He will keep Nolan at a 10, which is a C. Uh, Milan's 0 for 2 today. 25 is an 8, and on a C, that's going to be blooped out to left center field. Woodward out, Johnson over, Rose over, and uh, that one's going to drop in between everybody. Rose will pick it up and fire it back in. Not before Milan is on first with a base hit. That's the third hit of the day for the Atlanta Braves. Milan is fast on the base pads. And that brings the dangerous Hank Aaron. Hank's 0 for 2 today. Two, he'll make a B as in boy out of Nolan. Nolan looks into the sign from his battery mate, Hall of Famer Johnny Bench. Hall of Famer Hank Aaron at the plate. You've got to love this game. 43, that's a 29. The Reds are a 2. Uh, however, Nolan is a Y. So he gets, no, he gets Aaron with a changeup. So big hammer and Hank. A little bit out of front of that one. Swings right over top of the changeup. And that's strikeout number four today. Tolan, a big number two out there. That brings the next Atlanta threat, Orlando Cepeda. He's a plus two, so he'll keep Nolan at a C as in cat. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. 63, and that's lofted out to right center field. Hit high, relatively deep. Rose and Tolan charging for it, and Tolan gets there and puts it away just a few steps shy of the track to end the inning. Gave it a bit of a ride, but not able to find any grass. So no runs a hit. No errors. One runner left. We've played five in the books here in Atlanta. Still no score. All right. Lee May. We got uh, five, six, and seven due up for Cincinnati. May's 0 for 2. Right. Jarvis will be a C as in cat. 
Again, May has a couple of home runs to his credit already. 55 is an 8 on a C, and that's hit on the screws. Gar will take a few steps to left center field and fire it back in. And May will lumber into first with a single fourth hit of the day for the Reds. May is of average base running ability. Johnny Bench, 0 for 2, still hitting 333. Uh, he will keep Jarvis at a C as in cat. Again, as most of everybody in the Reds lineup has. 53, that's a 19. 19 is the third baseman. And uh, that's Boyer, who is a 6. So 53, 19. And uh, so Boyer's going to make a fantastic play. Uh, only able to get um, Bench at first as May will make it to second. So that was hit in the hole. Boyer dove and uh, got to his feet. Nails Bench at first. So great play by Boyer. It does get a runner in scoring position with one out. For Tommy Helms. So May's on second. Again, of average speed. Helms is 0 for 1 with a walk. He will make Jarvis a C. And here's the pitch. 25 is an 8 on a C. And uh, he is not slow, so that's a single over second. That's going to drop out into right center field. May is going to score, and the Reds are on the board first. So Tommy Helms with some clutch hitting. Draw first blood here in Atlanta. Reds trying to break even in the series. We have a four-game series yesterday, which is Friday night, and today, and then a doubleheader tomorrow. Quite a few doubleheaders going on tomorrow, which is Sunday the 13th. All right. Tommy Helms with a big hit. He's on first base. He's fast. Woody Woodward will step up next. He singled and walked today, so he's having a pretty good day. Got his average up to 200. 3, 9, so still a C for Jarvis. As there's some action, uh, some movement out in the Atlanta bullpen. Mike Lum. Is it Mike Lum? I looked earlier. Lum Harris. I knew Mike Lum. He's on the team. <laughs> I knew that didn't sound right. Lum Harris. I had the Lum part right. Lum Harris on the phone talking to somebody out there. All right, Woody Woodward. Again, Jarvis is a C. One out. Helms on first with good speed. 15 is an 8. And again, he's a C. That's going to be a solid single to center over the head of Jarvis, who ducks a little bit, even though he didn't really need to. And that will move Helms to second. So the Reds got something going here in the sixth. That's a second hit for Woodward. That brings Gary Nolan to the plate. Again, Nolan is not bad with the bat. Helms is fast. Woodward at first is average. I think they're going to go ahead. Dave Bristol is going to go ahead and let Nolan hit. Uh, he is uh, 0 for 2 so far. Here's the pit. Jarvis is a C, by the way. And that's hit out to left field. Gar is not a great fielder, but he will play it. Helms retreats back to second, two out. There's a big out for Jarvis. Nice job there. Again, Nolan, no slouch at the plate. So two away, and Pete Rose. So now Jarvis has his work cut out for him. Pete's 0 for 2 today with a walk, and uh, he will keep us Jarvis at a C. So here we go, big at bat for the Reds and the Braves. So that's a 12, 25, and uh, that's hit down to the shortstop. Jackson will go to Cepeda with it, and that will retire the side. So out, stay, stay, six to three. Pete slaps it the other way, hit it pretty good. But 
hits. Sonny able to get it and throw him out to end the inning. So the Reds do get a hit on three, or a run rather, on three base hits. No errors. They leave two on. Bottom of the six. The Reds now ahead by one. Gary Nolan throwing another shutout. Don't want to jinx him, but, but that's what he is doing. He'll start off with Cleet Boyer, who singled and walked. Cleet Boyer will make a B as in boy out of Nolan. 54, 32. That's a hit. Hit down the right field line. Nolan uh, will have time to get to it as it was hit pretty high. He'll grab it for out number one. First time Boyer was retired today. That brings Ralph Gar to the plate. He will make a C as in cat out of Nolan. Gar is 0 for 1. He was hit by a pitch. His last at bat. There goes a dice, a die into the floor. Always have a spare. 61, and that's hit the other way. Johnson will take a few steps to the infield, and he will make this one. Route number two. Again, Johnson not known for his glove. Always a bit of an adventure when one's hit out his way, but he makes that play for the second out of the inning. Bob Tillman, a catcher who came in to relieve Didier, will hit with two out, nobody on. Uh, he will make a C out of Nolan. He flew out to Nolan, his or Tolan rather, his first at bat. 35 is a 38. That's going to be ball one. 63, and that's uh, pulled out to left field. Hit kind of deep. A little bit to Johnson's right, and he will track that down for the third out of the inning. So nice job by Johnson to get to that one. Again, always a bit of an adventure when one's hit his way. But he's able to field that one with no problems to end the inning. So that's the first time the Braves have been retired in order since the first. So Nolan able to preserve that one-run lead. We go to the top of the seventh. Cincinnati Reds one. Atlanta Braves nothing. Two, three, and four due up for Cincinnati. Again, Jarvis will be on kind of a short lease. He was able to get out of that pickle last inning with just the one run. Versus righties, Tolan's a three, nine, so still a C. Tolan two for three this afternoon. 64, and uh, that slap the other way. Boyer fields it in the hole. Makes a nice throw to get the speedy tolling out number one. Not a lot of time to spare when tolling at the plate. Being left-handed, he even gets out of the box a little quicker. So no sh nice job by Boyer to get it over there in a hurry. Alex Johnson. Minus four, that'll be a C for Jarvis. Johnson is 0 for 2. Struck out twice with a walk. 15, and that's slashed up the middle. Jarvis not able to re react quick enough to get it, and it rolls into center field for a base hit. Hit number seven today for the Reds. First one for Alex Johnson. Alex is fast, so he'll be on first. Tony Perez, the heart of the uh, Reds lineup coming up. Jarvis has got his work cut out for him, but he's done a good job so far with him today. Uh, Jarvis will stay at a C. You got Johnson on first, one out. Perez is 0 for 3 against Jarvis today. Uh-oh. He hung one there. 46, and uh, that is... Let's see, we got 46. It's a six. It's a C. And that's going to be hit over the first base bang, over the head of Cepeda, down into the right field corner. Uh, Johnson with good score with good speed is chugging around third base. Here's the throw, and he's safe. Prez will be into second with a stand-up double, and the Reds are up by two. That's the first double of the year for Tony. Johnson scores with his good speed.
Two to nothing, Cincinnati. So Perez is slow. He's on second base. Lee May will step into the right-handers batter's box. Jarvis is due to hit second next inning, so I think Lum Harris will see if he can maybe get him through this inning without too much further damage. Go to our runner on second chart. Lee May has singled in three at-bats. He will keep Jarvis at a C. Here's the pitch. 32, 26. That's hit down to the second baseman. The line is an eight, which is pretty good. And second baseman turns. So 26. So he hits it down to Milan the other way. Uh, Milan will throw him out. And Perez will make it to third. However, there's two outs. He goes four to three. All right, we got to get the right colored ink. So four to three, out number two. Tony Perez is slow, so they will do business as usual. We've got two outs. We will not play it safe. Johnny Bench will be up next. You're most tempted to intentionally walk him to get to Helms. However, you hate to do that. Uh, let's see. Versus righty, so that's a C. All right. Lum well, Harris is going to see if Jarvis can get out of this one. Here's Johnny Bench. He is 0 for 3. Caught stealing in the first. Uh-oh. And he is an L. That is hit high, and that is hit deep. And the Reds are up by 4. So Johnny Bench with his first home run. First two RBIs of the season. And according to Stratomatic, Pat Jarvis is tired. I was hoping to get him through the seventh here, but he was not able to do it. Johnson, or uh, Pete, Pete, Johnny Bench turned on a fastball. And this is the launching pad down here after all. And he did just that. So it's now four to nothing Cincinnati. So he's got the weak part of the lineup coming up, so they'll see if he can finish it out here at this point. Again. Atlanta fans wondering if perhaps Lum Harris should have went to the bullpen here. Uh, but it is what it is. So, again, that's a C for Helms. Helms has got an RBI single today and a walk. 36, 33, there are one. He is not a Y. That's popped up on the infield. Milan will call for it and put it away to end the inning. Seventh inning stretch time here at Atlanta. The Reds tack on three big ones on three hits. No errors. They leave a runner on. It's 4 nothing Cincinnati Reds. Trivia question. Lee Richmond is best known for doing what in Major League Baseball first in 1929? I have no idea. I have never heard of Lee Richmond. Let's see what he did in 1929. So that was the first unassisted triple play. So how about that? It took them up till 1929 to get their very first one. All right, we go to the bottom of the seventh. Braves looking for some offense, having a hard time figuring out Nolan here this afternoon. They've got eight, nine, and one due up. Jarvis, and then of course a pinch hitter, uh, or not Jarvis, Jackson rather. And then a pinch hitter for Jarvis, I'm sure. All right, so versus righties, he's a minus one. That'll keep Nolan at a C as in cat. Uh, Jackson is walked and hit into a fielder's choice. Here is the pitch. 13, and he draws a walk. So that's the uh, fourth walk given up by Nolan today. You don't want to uh, allow them to get in with free passes. That's what he did to lead off the seventh. All right, Jackson is fast. So let's see who uh, Lum Harris is going to pinch hit. All right, Mike Lum will be brought in. Speak of the devil. Uh, he is uh, one for two so far with a home run and pinch hitting duties. Uh, he's a minus one, ten, so he'll keep Nolan at a C. Sonny Jackson at first with good speed. And here is the pitch from Gary Nolan. 
52, 27. That's hit to the third baseman, Perez. Again, Perez is not that great, so that's going to be uh, not hit hard enough to get Jackson. So Perez will go the long way to get Lum to get the first out of the inning. Let me get back where I'm controlling things. So out goes five to three. So Lum slaps it the other way. Perez throws him out. Jackson makes it to second, and Felipe Lou get another crack at Nolan. Uh, he's one for three. Uh, three. He'll make a B as in boy out of Nolan. Nolan looking for his second shutout in a row to start 1969. That's not a bad way to start. 42, and he strikes out Felipe Alou. So. Falou, um, Philippe Alou frozen on a changeup, and uh, he will leave with bat still on his shoulder. Out, big out number two here in the seventh. That's his fifth strikeout by Gary Nolan today. So two out. Sandy Jackson still on second base. Felix Milan, the cat from Puerto Rico, will step up next. He will make a 10 C as in cat out of Nolan. He's one for three today. Big two out at bat here. 41, 24, and that's popped up on the infield. Woody Woodward waves everyone off, and he will grab it to end the inning. So no, nice job by Nolan. He's on a roll here. Up out six. No runs, no hits, no errors. They leave another runner on. We go to the eighth. The Reds still up by four. We have to find a new brave pitcher. Lum Harris goes with Gary Wayne Niebauer, right-handed pitcher. He is a C as in cat. He has a Y strikeout modifier with a W, so he's a bit wild. He's got a seven on his master rating which is one better than Jarvis had at a six. He's got eight, nine, and one to contend with here in the eighth. Again, the Reds have a four-run lead. Woody Woodward will start off. He is two for two with a walk versus righties. He's a minus three. That'll add three, ten, so that'll make us ten. Still a C out of Niebauer. Uh, this will be Niebauer's second appearance. Uh, he has one inning of work so far and has not given up a run yet at least an earned one. So here we go. 62, and he strikes him out. So Niebauer starts off with the bang. Woody Woodward struck out for the second time this year. One out. You're going to let Gary Nolan see if he can continue his shutout, of course. Minus two, nine, so a C for Niebauer here on this one. 55 is an 8 on a C, and that's going to be slapped out to left center field. Alou will get to it first, and Gary Nolan has a single. Hit number 10 today for the Cincinnati Ball Club. This uh, Cincinnati club uh, could hit. Pitching was suspect, but they could hit. All right. Gary Nolan is of average speed. He's on first base. Pete Rose, who's in a bit of an early season slump, uh, 0 for 3 with a walk today. Let's see if he can get a hit off Niebauer here versus righties. He's a 0. Niebauer will be a 7C. One out. Nolan on first base. Here's the pitch. 12 to 25, and that's hit hard down to the second baseman. And Milan will go to Sonny Jackson, and Jackson will fire on to Cepeda. That will be an inning-ending double play for 6-3. So Pete's offensive struggles continue. I imagine he will improve as the year progresses, but not doing great today. 6-3, double play. No runs, a hit, no errors, nobody left. Bottom of the eighth, still 4 nothing Reds. Three, four, and five, up for Atlanta in the eighth. 
seeing that they can score some runs here against Gary Nolan. So Nolan, uh, see, minus two, 11. That'll make a B as in boy out of Nolan. Go to our empty chart. Hank Aaron's 0 for 3 today. And we missed the tower. Stayed on the table, though. 35 is a 9 on a B, and that's a single over short. So Hank gets his first hit of the day. Fourth hit for the Braves overall. Hank is fast. Runner on first, Orlando Cepeda. Again, the heart of the Brave lineup coming up. This will probably be their inning to do it if they can. So he makes a C as in cat out of Nolan. Cepeda is walked in three at bats. 51's a nine on a C. And that's hit down to the third baseman, Perez. Uh, he kind of muffles it. Uh, won't be able to get Aaron, but he will recover in time to get Cepeda. For the first out of the inning. So Aaron will make it to third, or to second rather. Five to three on the put out. So Perez able to get one run, or one out rather. All right, Cleet Boyer. He'll make a B as in boy out of Nolan. Boyer is uh, one for two with a walk and a strikeout. He's got to third base and two at bats, but no further than that. Uh, he'll make a B as in boy out of Nolan. Here's the pitch. 16 is a 28. Again, Woodward is a 8. So that's going to be hit to Woodward at short. Hit hard enough that Aaron will have to stay at second. Woodward fires on to May. And second out of the inning. 6 to 3. It's up to Ralph Gar. Two out. Aaron still at second. Gar is a zero, so that'll be a C as in cat out of Nolan. Braves fans cheering on some their hometown team. Gar is 0 for 2 with a hit pitch so far. Here's the pitch for Nolan. 26, 27. And uh, he has the Y modifier. He strikes him out. Six strikeout of the day. So no one is cruising along. No runs. Lead off single wasted. And we go to the ninth. The Braves down by four. All right. Niebauer on for his second inning of work. We'll see if he can keep the Reds uh, lead at four. He'll start with the second hitter in the lineup, Bobby Tolan. Versus righties is a minus three, ten, so that'll be a C for Tolan. Tolan is two for four today. 44, seven, and that's slapped to right field for a base hit. Third hit of the day for Tolan. Eleventh hit for the Reds. Tolan is fast, so the leadoff hitter on for the Reds, Alex Johnson. Uh, minus 4, 11, so he'll make a B as in boy out of Niebauer. Uh, Alex prefers the left-handed pitching. Uh, he is 1 for 3 today, though, with the run scored and a walk. 44 is a 7 on a B. And we're on the first base chart, and that's a slap to the right. Right. Uh, over the head of Milan, Tolan with good speed is going to try for third. Here's the throw from Henry Aaron, and he's safe. Johnson not advancing on the throw will still be at first, and the Reds have him at the corners with no out. So that brings up Tony Perez. So that may do it for Niebauer. Alex Johnson is fast, too, so the Reds have good speed on the bases. And let's see what Mike Har or Lum Harris might want to do. All right, they have Upshaw their closer, but other than that, Niebauer looks like their best option. So with them down by four, I think they're going to, uh, Lum Harris is going to see if Niebauer can get out of this. So they're going to bring the infield in. Tony Perez has a uh, RBI double, his first double of the season back in the seventh. 
versus righties. He's a minus two. That's a nine, so that'll keep Niebauer at a C. Again, the infield is in. And here is the pitch to Perez. 46, and he strikes him out. Nice job by Niebauer. Niebauer. Nice fastball on the inside corner. Froze Tony Perez, and the umpire calls him out. Second strikeout by Niebauer. Big one there for Atlanta Braves fans. <laughs> As the Atlanta Brave fans celebrate that, however, he's not out of the woods yet. Uh, so that brings up Lee May. So they're going to move the infield back to double play depth. May is a, definitely a double play candidate. Uh, he is one for four with a single. Minus three, ten, so he'll keep Niebauer at a C. Good speed on the bases. One out. Here's the pitch from Niebauer. 62 is a 41, so that could be some craziness. Uh, so that's a double steal. One runner scores. How about that? So Johnson takes off for second base. Uh, Milan cuts it off and fires back home, but not in time to get the speedy tolling. And uh, that is some craziness right there. Wow. So that would be that's the first steal of home I think I've ever had. <laughs> All right, stolen base. And runner scores other to second. So double steal. So nice job by the Reds there. Dave Bristol getting all crazy. Taking advantage of that speed on the base paths. So that'll move Johnson to second. The Reds up by five. Lee May still at the plate. Need to go to our runner on second chart now. Again, C, a C for Niebauer. And uh, Lee May still up. All right, here we go. 51 is an eight on a C. And uh, that's a single over second. The runner scores. So Lee May with his third RBI of the year. And the Reds have kind of broken this one open. So I think uh, Lum Harris is going to go with Niebauer. I think unless it gets horrible. He don't want to use his closure in this situation. Second hit today for Lee May. Again, in real life, the uh, Atlanta Braves won the division. The first uh, ever National League West division. I believe the Reds were in third place with the Giants in second. I think the National League West had the closest uh, pennant race in the of the year, I believe. All right, Lee May is average speed at first. Johnny Bench will take his place in the right-handed batter's box. He had that two-run bomb back in the seventh, his first homer of the season. Again, he's a two. That's a C for Niebauer. 63, and that's a 31. And that's hit out to center field. Lou will track that one down and throw it back in. Second out of the inning. Tommy Helms had a good day. He's one for three with an RBI single and a walk. Uh, he'll make a C as in cat out of Niebauer. 53, that's an 18. Uh, let's see, Jackson is an 8, which is 2, 18-2, and that's going to be an error. So Jackson boots that one. Second Atlanta error of the day. As the Atlanta fans <laughs> are not that, they are this. There they are. There's the Boo Birds. That's an E6. Who had the other Atlanta error? Oh, that was back in the second inning. Uh, that was Cleet Boyer. I didn't write that down. All right. Woody Woodward, runners on first and second. May is average. Helms is fast. He... Niebauer trying to get out of this inning without any further damage. 
Minus three, ten, so he's still a C. Fifty two, twenty seven. And again, um, Boyer is great over there, so that is a hit, and he'll go make that play easy, throw on to Cepeda in the inning. Out to stay, stay five to three. All righty, Reds get two runs on three base hits, one error. They leave two runners on. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Atlanta with a work cut out of them. They are cut out for them. They are down by six. They obviously would like to ruin Nolan's second shutout in a row. Uh, they will have Tillman to start off to see what he can do here against Nolan. Nolan pitching a fine game, just four hits. Four walks. They've had some opportunities, but he's been able to deal with it every time. So he'll be a C, as in Cat against Tillman. And here's the pitch. 61 is a 24. And that's grounded hard down to Woodward. It's short, and he will field it cleanly. Out number one. Sonny Jackson has walked twice today. And he'll be, a, this will be a C for Nolan. 23, he's 29, and that's hit back to the box. Nolan will field that one with no difficulties for out number two. All right. Let's see who Lum Harris is going to bring on to pinch hit. It will be Tito Francona from, I can't pronounce, Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. Of course, I believe he was, went on to do some managing in Cleveland and other places. All right, so he'll keep Nolan at a C. The few fans left are on their feet trying to wish a miracle. 14, and they're not going to get it as that's hit the other way out to left center field. Johnson will get there first, and that will do it as he flies out to left in the inning. So there you have it. The second shutout for... Uh, Gary Nolan, he shut out the Dodgers on opening day and proceeds to go to Atlanta and then shuts out uh, the Braves. Let's see. Shuts out the Braves uh, for his second shutout in a row. Um, those who are following on Facebook know that the uh, in four games, the, the uh, Astros have thrown two no-hitters. Uh, Larry Durker, and I believe LeMaster was the other one. Uh, they uh, Durker no-hit the Padres in San Diego, and then the Dodgers came to Houston, and uh, I believe it was LeMaster, Denny LeMaster, uh, no-hit them. So I've had two Atba no-hitters um, in my early Atba career, and both of them have been on by the Houston Astros of 1969. So uh, that's something that will stick with me forever. So anyway, the Reds improve to three and one. The Braves fall to two and three. Gary Nolan with the win. Again, his second shutout. Uh, nine innings, four hits, no air, no runs, no earned runs, four walks, six strikeouts. The loss goes to Pat Jarvis. Uh, he drops to 0 and 2. Uh, his ERA uh, improved, however, as he is now at 759. Uh, so he did better than he did against the Giants. Uh, so this is the second game of Saturday, April the 12th. Uh, the Boston Red Sox have already defeated the Cleveland Indians 6-1. to one. Uh, We've got a full slate. There's 24 teams in the, Nash, or in, the uh, in the major leagues in 69. So that's 12 games a day when everybody's playing. Uh, tomorrow we have quite a few doubleheaders on Sunday the 13th. So as you know, uh, when you start getting into the 60s with this many teams and you're playing everybody, uh, it is a big challenge. But, uh, again, this is something I, I would like to try to work on and see how far I can get, but I'm enjoying it very much and appreciate you guys 
uh, along for the ride. Uh, I am playing every game, but I'm not broadcasting every game. Uh, but this was a good one, especially if you're a Reds fan. The Reds win six to nothing, and uh, I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you next time.